Coming up on WFMJ Today, today is the day with the plant. Soon set to idle, we're at the last full day of production at GM Lordstown. We have comprehensive team coverage on what this could mean for the Valley. It's also a pretty somber morning here as the General Motors plant in Lordstown is preparing for its final full day of production before idling. Let's get to our news headlines now at 502. Officials in Mercer County are investigating the cause of a woman's death. This was the scene Tuesday night over at Sandy Lake Borough on Franklin Street. Pennsylvania State Police are not releasing many details. They're only saying a female died and no one is in custody. One of the most restrictive abortion bans in the nation is headed to Governor Mike DeWine's desk and he's expected to sign it. If this becomes law, Ohio would join five other states that prohibit abortions after a fetal heartbeat is detected. The legislation has no exceptions for rape or incest, but there is an exception if the mother's life is in jeopardy. Those against the bill do plan to sue. Hey, the deadline to file your taxes for 2019 is just around the corner, but the IRS says that there are still lots of people who are due for a refund from previous years. NBC's Yelan Mui has that story. So this has a lot of people talking. It is the very first image of a black hole. So we're going to show you that image and we'll have that story coming up this hour. All the science folks geeking out over this with good reason. Well, today is a pretty big day in history as GM idles its Lordstown plant. The last Chevy Cruze is rolling off the production line and more than 1,000 people are going to be instantly out of a job. So we decided to bring in one of our own who not only knows a thing or two about cars, but has the most experience covering General Motors as a reporter. So a big thank you for Glenn Stevens for joining us today. Good morning. Glenn. Hi, good morning. Yep. Have more from Body Bliss Connection wow. and she does private classes. This is some team building that we have to do. How cool is that, right? I need that, that today. My cool. back hurts. I'm going there later. Yeah, we'll see you later, yeah. Milena. <laughs> yeah. But for now, we're stuck in the studio talking about the weather and, of course, the winds from last night and this morning. Yeah, it is going to be a very windy day today. Gust in the mid 40s, and it's going to also be cold right now. We're waking up to temperatures in the 20s. I'll have more coming up in just a bit. Alrighty, coming up in the next 60, we're going to keep you updated on these power outages and tell you why some of them are going to take longer to restore. So stick with us. We'll be right back.